This is your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got something from the boy with Uke. It's called Gaslight. I feel like I was just being gaslighted a second ago because I was watching a video of Jenny from Blackpink. I was desperately in love. She just kept shaking her booty. Shit wasn't fair. I'm, I'm a little bit triggered. But anyways, it's not what we're here for right now. I don't, I'm so, listen, I go on tangents. This, my mind is just in all sorts of different places. We're here for Boy With You. This man about to cook. We already know extremely, extremely dope and talented artist. I think it's funny that I started to do reactions to him when he was still wearing the mask. But it wasn't long after I started to do the reactions that he ended up removing it. And I was asking about the mask. And literally, like, two, three months later, my man does the unveiling. And I'm like, well, shit, okay, here we go. So, hey, shout out to him. I hope everything's been good since then. I know that it was probably cool uh, to, you know, not really have to worry about anybody knowing who you were in public. I assume now, because I feel like he's a pretty solid artist and he's got to be decently well-known He's probably getting some people walking up to him now, which probably is a little bit different. But as long as it's not a huge crowd, it's probably fun. I feel like that could be fun as long as it's not overwhelming. Like there's some people you see go places like if anybody's ever watched an iShow speed stream, like I've watched clips because I don't tend to have time to watch a lot of streams. But I try to keep up on all the new streamers and people that are doing big things just to see like what they do, how they do it. This man goes to a country and I swear to you, half the country is in the street following him. It's the craziest shit I ever seen in my life. That would probably not be very fun i i don't i don't know that i would enjoy that more than once or twice then it's like yo can i just live my life anyways i'm yapping just a little bit of chatting let's dive in let's see what this man was cooking with i like these uh these old school diners anybody else like diners like that i feel like the food is usually pretty on point it's not amazing but it's usually good level food you help me like flowers to your chest Suffocate yet still I rest. Let her know, baby. You hurt me with malice again. Must have learned that trait from one of your friends. It's like the bed for me. And I might just be the same, I don't know. So I you, I give you the <laughs> yo, that's mad funny to see it from this angle. He pops up like, yo, I swear I just saw something. Ain't nobody really noticing it. It's so easy with a pretty face. But I know in my heart what you are is a monster. And we can't be together. A shame. Yo, this is such a real song, though. I totally understand that. Like, basically, like, this girl is not good for me, right? And, like, I know deep down, like, you're kind of a monster. It's, it's kind of cold to say, but there are people that are like that. But at the same time, it's easy for you to pass as not being that because you have the pretty face. Like, you could put on a good front, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I've definitely been there. So what you gonna do? That's cold. That I slept with your sister. Hold on, wait, what did he wait, 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 what did he say? Dance on top your crave one last time And I'll whisper that 
I slept with your sister. <laughs> Yo, that's cold. Is this like based on some shit he actually been through? Because this, like, think about it. He's talking about some girl and like how we kind of let it happen, but that he knows deep down she's a monster and she's able to get away with shit because of the pretty face. And so on and so forth. And then he gets to the point where he's just like, yo, I'll dance on your grave and I'll whisper that I slept with your sister. Like, it almost feels like this man been through some shit with somebody. I don't know whether he slept with her sister or not, but he, yo, <laughs> hey, listen, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. a dope little vibe a story that is very relatable to be honest with you i mean not the sleeping with the sister and stuff like but like as far as the beginning part the deep down monster pretty fat all that kind of shit definitely been there i feel like a lot of us have probably been there and, and vice versa with women getting with guys that you know appear a certain way and so you know we all we all kind of been through some shit at some point what's crazy is this song was three minutes and 18 seconds long that shit felt like it went by way faster than that it felt like it went by extremely quick, if I'm being honest to you. And it's just because I, you, you just kind of get into it, the feel of it and stuff like that. So that's when you know a song is good, when that shit goes by like that and you're like, damn, bro, it's already over. Anyways, just want to let you guys know I go live pretty much every single night, twitch.tv slash Dwayne TV. Friday nights, we do music reaction. Saturday, we, we listen to a little bit of music maybe here and there. Um, throughout the week, I do all sorts of different shit. We could be gaming. I play a variety of games. We could be talking about a certain topic or something that happened that day, some crazy shit, drama, life stuff. Sometimes we got some weird questions I like to ask and, and see what everybody says and stuff like that. We, we do a lot of different things. I'm also trying to come up with some more creative streams. Like maybe I go on like a Tinder or a Hinge and you guys help me set up my profile. Tell me what to put in my bio. Tell me who to swipe on. Tell me what to say. So on and so forth. And we'll revisit it over every couple of streams to see like if we get any matches. So on and so forth. I think that that'd be kind of fun just to just to see where it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like see if you guys can can get me a date. I don't necessarily want to go on one. Um, cause I got my own situation going on, but like, I'm just curious to see if y'all telling me some wild shit, if we can get it there, y'all can riz some people, you know what I mean? So we, we might give that a shot. I'm trying to think of some other stuff, but if you guys stop in the stream and have any ideas or seen some stuff happen elsewhere and you'd like to see me give it a shot, I'm here for it. Let me know. I appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. If anything new drops, let me know whether it's boy with Uke or something else that we've never done on the channel, but you guys would like to see me check out or I miss something, fill me in because I'm not always on top of everything. And sometimes I miss shit and I don't notice it until days, if not weeks or months later. So a lot of times I'm looking at the DMs. There's a lot of you guys that do DM me. You guys will hit me up and say, yo, did you know this dropped? Yo, this person that you've reacted to a bunch just put out this new song. And I appreciate you guys for that. For anyone that does not know my Twitter, Instagram, all of that is linked down below. I have a discord. You can DM me in the discord. Discord itself is not super populated. I mean, it's got a good amount of people, but I've not done much to keep it like active. So a lot of people kind of just do, do their own thing. But if you guys ever want to stop in, I'm always there. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.